Hi, let's talk about constraints. Before we talk about constraints, it's very necessary for us to first of all clear out the fact that in Maya there are two types of parent and child constraining. The first one is more like a modular kind of constraint, which simply means that the child exists inside of the parent, while the second one is actually a constraint, which means that the parent object is constrained or the child object is constrained to the parent object. I'll show you with a quick example. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and create a sphere and then I'll go ahead and also create a cylinder. These are two different objects which I think would be very necessary and they would help illustrate the fact. I'm going to go ahead and pull this all the way up and the next thing I want to do is show you how to do the first type of constraining. This object that I have here, I want it to be the child of this object. The first way to get to do the parent constraining is simply by selecting the child in Maya and then selecting the parent and going over to edit and then click on parent. Now once I click on parent, the child parent gets selected. Once the child parent gets selected, if I click now, I can now move the parent and the child moves with the object. The second kind of parenting deals with when you have multiple objects in your scene and then you want to actually constrain that object to a given object i'm going to go ahead and bring out the torus here which i'm going to use for an example so i want this torus to be the parent and i need this to be the child this is the proper kind of constraining which doesn't have to do with bucketing one object into another object this type of constraint is the kind of constraint that is used for animation so the first thing I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and switch to my rigging tab. And then the next thing I will do is select the parent before I select the child. If I select the parent and select the child, I'll go over to constraint, go to where I have the parent constraint, click on the tool setting box, and then I'll maintain offset. If offset is not selected and you apply, the object automatically snaps to the parent. But if offset is selected, and then you apply the child remains where it's supposed to be and the parent also remains where it's supposed to be now if i select this and maintain offset and click apply you find out that the child is at the exact same point where we want it to be and the parent is also at the exact same point where we want it to be regardless of them being at different points if i move the parent the child moves alongside with it and this is actually one of the best ways you can use to constrain your object before animating them if you have questions about the parent child constraint please put them in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this tutorial please like share and also don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification peace